the Raya, you the GOAT, boy. RT, you good, bro? Crazy coming back, he cracked the sky, he come with fire. Grab a look, yeah, it gotta burn, yeah, with fire. Damn, where you be dead at? It's in the Bible. I tell you what you're afraid of. How you doing? What's your name, bro? Huh? Dylan? Say it again. Diddy. Your name Diddy. Diddy, can I ask you a question, man? Is there gunfire going on over here? You be seeing shooting and, and, and crime over here? You do? Do you have an idea of what can help and save this, this community? You don't? Can I show you? First of all, before I go show you that, who is this guy right here? Do you know? Who is this? God. That's God? Who told you that that was God? The church? You see that? The church has taught this young man that this white man is the is God or Jesus Christ. That's the destruction of our people right there. That's why we're commanded to come here. This is not God, young man. This is not what the Bible describes as God or Jesus the Christ. This is not who this is. But they tell us this is God. So guess what? When you see your brother, you see your brother, you know, that young man right there, that's your brother. Them young men over there, that's your brother. We you see your brother. How you doing, man? What's your name? Huh? Keyshawn. You, you got to go, Diddy? Uh, you got to go? Come on, get back over in front. I'm trying to help you out. So you said this is Jesus the Christ or God, right? Who, does, who is this, man? This Jesus? Who told you that? You just figured that that's Jesus? That's not Jesus. We're going to read the description of Jesus so you can have an understanding. When you think that this white man is Jesus, guess what that does to you? You see your brother over there, hey, you'll do harm to your brother. Not your real brother, brother, but that's your brother because he's the uh, children of your people. You understand? How you doing, sir? What we, what we finna do is show who this is according to the Bible versus who that is. All right? Who you say this is? God. You say God and Jesus. Who you say this guy is? I don't know him. You don't know him? Have you ever seen him? But who, what do they say he is? Who, they say he's Jesus. They say he's Jesus, right? This is the damn devil. This is the devil the Bible speaks of. Jesus is never white. He never was white. He never was white. And if you really look at him, they really red. According to the scriptures, they're red. They're red man. Now we're going to show you uh, Keyshawn, Diddy, what's your name, bro? Xavier. 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 My name is Zadok. We're going to show you, according to the scriptures, who this is first and foremost, Revelation 2 and 9. Who this is first and foremost. Then we're going to play a game of three strikes. You say, Jesus, keep that in your mind now. Because I'm going to show you who this is, who the Bible say this is, according to the, according to the Bible. Hold on, listen. Who? Yeah, it's deaf, all right. He bring a lot of death. He bring a lot of death in this community. Drugs. Doc, different doctrines. Thinking you can hold out your sisters and your brothers and having no father, single parent households, mom, mama raising you. The Bible speaks against that. It should be a two parent household, a husband and a wife. Right. That's what it's supposed to be, young man. So we're going to read who this is according to the Bible. All right. Xavier, you paying attention? All right. Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and thy and tribulation. The Bible says he knows our works. You so-called blacks and Hispanics, he know our works. Keyshawn, he know our works. Read. And poverty, but thou art rich. The Bible says he knows our poverty. We live in Dodge City over here, right? This is what they call Dodge City. You're dodging bullets, dodging crime, dodging the police, dodging each other. That's, what, that's what's going on over here. Murder, death, kill. Because we don't see 
the black Messiah in us in each other. Read it from the top again. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. The Bible says that thou art rich. Keyshawn, you are rich. And I'm going to show you how you're rich. D Diddy, you're rich. And I'm going to show you how you're rich. Xavier, you're rich. And I'm going to show you that. Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. They say they are the Jews. This man and the and Amalekites, the so-called Jewish man, they say they the Jews over there in Jerusalem. But that's not true. That's not true. Let's see who they are according to the Bible. Read. And are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. What? The synagogue of Satan. The Bible says that they are not the Jews. They're not the Jews. You're looking at the Jews right here. Yes, we the Jews. And that's what y'all need to understand. But what did he call this man? What did he call this man? Read it again. Revelation 2 and 9. Read it again. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Say they are Jews. Read. And are not. They are not the Jews. Read. But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the house of Satan. The devil the Bible speaks of. That's who this is right here. And devil don't mean nothing but deceiver. How have they deceived our people? Xavier, how have they, how have this image and this man deceived our people? They evangelized me. They evangelized, what does that mean? That means, so like, you know what like imperialism is? And like what happened in like Africa, mm -hmm. when they went into Africa, and like, you know about like the Berlin country. Make it plain, cause we got, you know, we got oh. children, make it plain. So basically they went in there and they took our beliefs and our religion and our culture and they changed it and they made it, made us to believe in what they believe in. So what is this man doing right here? You see right here, what is he doing? He's pa he, he what? He painted. he painted what? Look at the difference. He painted a picture. He painted a picture. He's taking a picture of a black man and he's making it what? White. white. A so-called white man. You see how simple that was? He That's all you need. That's it right there. He making everybody white. He making it white. You see, he made Jesus white. He tell you God white. But guess what? That's a lie. That's me, deceiver. He's deceiving Xavier. He's deceiving uh, Diddy. He's deceiving Keyshawn. You see that? This is a lie. First Maccabees, I think, 3 and 48. Let me get that. First Maccabees 3 and 48. We're going to prove this out the Bible, what he did. Then I'm going to show you the real depiction of what Christ is or who he looked like. And you tell him, what's your name, young man? Uh, we know you, bro. What's, what's going on? You playing games. The Most High God, you playing games. You already know this truth. Don't be over here playing games. Don't come over here smiling. You already know this truth. You should be teaching these young men. Where your friends is at? Huh? You out the spirit, bro. Get in order. Get in order. You understand? Read that. The book of Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. And laid upon the book of the law. We, let, we got the book of the law right here, right? This is what this man did. This is what he did. Read it again. And laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the like likeness of their images. You see what he did? It says he laid open the book of the law. That's our book. And he sought to paint the likeness of our, the black Messiah and the prophets and the Jews. He sought to paint the image after him. He tell you God is white. Jesus is white and everything right. Everything white is right. We well, a dang on lie. So you see right here, he's doing that. Read it again. I want y'all to understand what's going on. And laid open the book of the law. Laid open the Bible. He read it. Read. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. The heathen is the other nations. All the other nations. That's what it is. But in particular, he's talking about this so-called white man. That's what in particular he's talking about. Because he did that. All right. He did that. Now, give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Now we finna get to, we understand who this is. This is the devil the Bible speaks of. The devil don't mean nothing but deceiver. They deceived our people too long. They put our people in a slumber. They down here in the projects and they think it's okay. This is not normal living conditions. And I can speak on it because I'm from the projects too. You understand that? I'm from the same hoods. You understand, Keyshawn? I'm from the same streets you are from, young man. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. So listen carefully. 
the revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation means to reveal, to show. So we're going to show you what thus said the Lord God out of the Bible. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto, okay. to, to show unto his servants. To show unto his servants. You guys will be his servants. We are his servants. Read. Things which must shortly come to pass. So it's going to show you what shortly must come to pass. Keep reading. And he sent unto signified... He, and he sent and signified it by his angels unto his servant John. You see that? So he, he signified it. God approved this. So this message we're talking about is the revealing of somebody. We're going to see who that somebody is. Alright? Y'all want to play three strikes? You want to play three strikes? Keyshawn, Diddy, Xavier. Three strikes. Jump down to Revelations chapter 14. Read. No, matter of fact, jump up. I want you to go to verse... 10. Read. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice. So y'all standing with your backs turned right now, right? Xavier, you got your back turned. Mm -hmm. So somebody behind you, you're going you gonna, to you gonna do something. Read. As of, of a trumpet, saying I am Alpha and Omega. Who is Alpha and Omega? God. God. Okay, that's true. But you heard he heard behind him like as someone speaking like seven trumpets. Trumpets are loud, right? It's just like this speaker right here. And you turn your back and hear the speaker. It's loud. You hear something behind you. So read it again from the top. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The Sabbath day. And heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And, and what thou seest write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia. Okay, jump down. To, jump. So he he heard behind him, right? Listen, this is John. He heard behind him something loud, a loud man with a loud voice speaking. And he turned. Read. Jump down 14. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So he had to write it in a book and signify it. That means God approved this. Right? So it says his head and his hairs. <coughs> the head and his hairs on his face were what? White like wool as, the, as snow. So his head and his hairs are white as wool. You look at my hair, I got whiteness in my hair. My hair is changing. Right? It says his head and his hairs is white as wool. Alright? Now, here's the first thing. Does this man, the so-called devil, have white woolly hair? Do he have uh, wool textured hair? What animal? This man here? Well, that's wrong, Keyshawn. Pay attention. You got woolly textured hair. You got woolly textured hair. You got woolly textured hair. I have woolly textured hair. These brothers you see out here have woolly textured hair. Right? So that's strike one here. But we got a man over here. White, woolly hair. Right? That wool coming off your head. Same as yours. Read it. And his eyes was, were as a flame of fire. What color is fire? That's one strike already because this guy don't got woolly hair. What color is fire, Keyshawn? Fire. What color is it? Red? You agree? Fire is red. What color fire then? Orange is red. It's in a red color. It's red. When it burn hot, it's red. You understand? It's red. You understand that? So, do this man got red eyes? No. Does this man got red eyes, Keyshawn? Who got red eyes? This one do. The whites of his eyes become red. When you, when you, when, when our brothers and sisters have a little drink, mm -hmm. you know they, they have a little drink, right? They eye, the whites of their eyes turn red. My eyes, you can see them. Either you're tired, they look red. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that that right there is two strikes. That's two strikes, okay? You understand, Keyshawn? So we got two strikes against this man, and we got positive on this side over here, too. So we, we're revealing who this man is. We're trying to give you the difference. Keyshawn, come back. Where you going? Come back. Come back. Come back and get here this. Come back. You got to know who Christ is. You said this is God. This ain't God. This the devil the Bible speaks of. But we're going to show you who God is. All right? Read. And his feet... Like unto fine brass. You see that? What color is brass, Keyshawn? 
Huh? Not grass. Brass. Brass. What color is brass? That right there. What color is that? Brown. So brass is brown. It's a derivative down from gold. Brass is brown. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. So the Bible says that brass, his, his, his skin color, or he had feet color brass. If you take your shoes off, you know, if you take your shoes off, what color would your feet be? It'd be the same color as your body, right? Mm -hmm. Make sense? Did this man look brown? Is this a brown man here? Sure. So that's a brown man over there, ain't it? Read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Read it from the top again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So that's strike one because that man don't got woolly textured hair. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as, were as a flame of fire. So his eyes was as a flame of fire. That's red, Keyshawn. You said that, right? That man over there got red eyes. This is the image of Christ. This is the image of Christ. I want y'all to understand. So when y'all see each other out here, you got to see Christ in yourself. That's right. You can't be looking at your brother with hatred and envy and malice and murder. You can't be looking at your brother. You can't be looking at your sisters wanting to whore them out. Because guess what? Christ looked just like y'all. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. The Bible says his feet as his fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything, what color is it? Huh? You said what? Black. Black is his shirt. You see that? So what color is Jesus Christ? Black. black. He's a black man. That's right. That's what color he is. So when you see your brother, don't look at him as this and think you don't see Christ in him. You say that one more time. Jesus Christ is a black man. One more time. Black man. One more time. He's a black man. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? And how do we prove that? Because the white woolly hair, the red eyes, and the brown feet. There you go. That's right. That's right. And, and it says as if he burned, as it burned in the furnace. What scripture? Would you pay attention to the scripture? Revelations 209. No, no, read it again. The book of Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. What's, what scripture? Revelations 114. There you go. That's right. So Christ is a black man. He looked like you and me, brother. Yes, right. So guess what? When you see your brother on here on the street, you got to see Christ in him. That's right. You got to see Christ in him. You can't go around looking at your brother as an enemy. We can't be like that with each other. We can't roll in that spirit. It's a beautiful thing that y'all come out here to hear the word of God. Because guess what? The, the, this dude ain't coming out here. You know what he do last time I came over here? You know what he's doing? Out here passing out food and, 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 and gifts. Trying to put you back to sleep. Yeah, stay comfortable in your oppression. Stay comfortable in it. But to hell with that. It's a new day on earth. The prophets are here to give you the true understanding of the Bible. That's right. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community.